The record-breaking film, Black Panther, Wakanda Forever, is the first superhero movie ever to be nominated for Best Picture, features a predominantly black cast and gives black boys and girls a chance to imagine themselves as superheroes. That's a big deal. Black Panther is also an example of Afrofuturism. This cultural movement has long been part of African-American arts, and Alex Wagner is here to explain its history and revival as we celebrate on this Black History Month. Alex, good to see you. It is good to see you, Gail. Afrofuturism is a social, cultural, and political philosophy that dates back to the 1950s. It aims to reclaim black history by imagining an alternate future, one that incorporates science fiction, technology, and African mythology. I spoke to prominent Afrofuturists over the course of a year as the movement gains new momentum beyond film. I see these tweets at times where people are like, I just want to see black mermaids and black people in space. I want to see black stories that aren't about black pain because the pain is constant. At just 25 years old, Nigerian-American writer Tomi Adeyemi is among the artists at the forefront of the resurgence of Afrofuturism. It's just kind of like a utopia to imagine what if. Like, what if this story wasn't a story of having everything taken away and having so much, like, oppression and brutality and senseless murder and slavery? Like, what if it could be something completely different? That's the foundation of the bestseller Children of Blood and Bone a West African fantasy novel featuring a young, black, female protagonist. When did it occur to you that women of color, men of color, children of color could be fantasy characters? I didn't realize until my senior year of high school that no characters looked like me. So all of my protagonists were white or they were biracial. Then I realized it's not just me who needs this. It's like, it's other people who look like me, but it's also people who don't look like me because the reason I didn't think I could be in a story was because I didn't see it. Through her writing, she also directly tackles racism and inequality. I wanted to write a story that commented on the black experience. In some ways, Afrofuturism is inherently kind of a revolutionary act. Yeah. Do you and think of yourself as a revolutionary? At this point, I can think of myself as a part of the revolution. And so does Grammy nominee Janelle Monet. Oh me, oh me, oh me, oh my. On her new album, oh me, Dirty oh me, Computer, oh Monet explores Afrofuturism through music. Afrofuturism is about black people, us seeing ourselves in the future, knowing that we are not the stereotypes that have been perpetuated on us. Monet believes this is the time for Afrocentric art. It's a way for black women like myself to tell our stories through our own lens because I think it's important that we're telling our stories because if we allow other people who are not us to tell our stories, they may not be told properly. The revolution. Enter Black Panther. With a black superhero and a nearly all black cast set in an African inspired utopia sometime in the future, we are home. Panther popularized the idea of Afrofuturism, but its roots run deep. All the early abolitionists that we celebrate, the Frederick Douglasses, the Sojourner Truths, we're all Afrofuturists. Harriet Tubman, Sun Ron, George Clinton. Cultural critic Greg Tate is considered one of the leading scholars of this movement. Anybody um, who had a vision of the black people's story and presence and imaging uh, could be told and, and elevated. On one hand, we have a movie like Black Panther, which is a lot of people's entry point for Afrofuturism. Mm -hmm. But you also have the Black Lives Matter movement, right. right? Do you see a connection between those two things? Oh, definitely. I mean, I, th I don't think that Black Panther would have happened without the precedent of Black Lives Matter, because I think that any time there's outrage and, and, and protests in the streets, the cultural elites in America tend to open up resources and opportunity and space for, um, you know, for black creatives. And the response suggests audiences will start to see even more Afrofuturist art. Black Panther! Yes! Black Panther snagged the top prize at the SAG Awards, is nominated for seven Oscars, you get to decide. and a sequel is underway. Tomi Adeyemi's book is being made into a major motion picture, with two more books in the works. Do you think arts and entertainment are changing? I definitely think they're changing. We're finally getting people who want to share it with people and people who don't think that, oh, people aren't gonna relate to this because it's black or they're not gonna relate to this because it's African, it's too different. They're like, no, this is a great story with great characters, so let's make it visible. And when people find it, they'll fall in love with it. 
Adeyemi signed a rare seven-figure deal for the movie before her book was released. She has been compared to a young J.K. Rowling, so maybe that is no surprise that the money is rolling in before the Boy, plot line. I like her. It's so important, though, to see yourself. I remember as a little kid when they, I was oh, yeah. given a black dog, I go, I don't want her, she's not pretty, because I had never seen one before. It, That's why it is so important it, to put these images out. I loved your story. It's Alex. great. That, you know, the, of course, the black experience, like any other experience, yes. is so multifaceted. It's great to see major pop culture catch up with that. Thank you, Alex.